do you think this government will hold together? Because there's an assumption in the market, given the rally that we saw today, that actually everything is fine, we have a finance minister that's not anti-euro, and so the government holds. We have to realize that Italy is in a very difficult situation, given the level of debt. We know that uh, we are in a situation that uh, we economists call multiplicity of equilibria. If everybody thinks that Italy is doing fine, rates will be low and Italy will be fine. If everybody all of a sudden thinks that Italy is not going to be fine, rates are going to be high and Italy will end up defaulting. And I think is a structural weakness of the euro that when it was designed there was no mechanism in place to protect against this risk uh, in a when you have your own national central bank the central bank plays that role uh, without a national central bank you are at risk and when the euro was designed um, economists did not think about this problem and and now we leave uh, on our skins as Italian this problem so uh, I'm very glad that the, the finance minister uh, reassured the market and things were gonna get better but uh, I think uh, leaving under that threat is is very very dangerous because any possible situation will uh, uh, create uh, uh, first of all in economic damage because even if our maturity is fairly long, so uh, the cost in terms of interest rate is not going to be gigantic. And uh, the good news is that we are coming off uh, some uh, uh, bonds that were issued in 2013 with fairly high rates. So I think that the immediate cost on the budget of a rising interest rate will not be dramatic. However, the cost of borrowing for banks will go up and the ability to lend to the economy will go down. So uh, we, we could be back in a situation like 2011 where Italy suffered gigantic economic costs mm -hmm. for some politically, uh, political uncertainty, mostly at the European level. Because when, when Angela Merkel met with Sarkozy and started to talk about the possibility of a default or sovereign default in mm -hmm. every country, then uh, the spread started to rise yeah. and Italy entered a crisis. And I think that that is a big burden that any government in Italy is facing. Um, David, you own BTPs. First of all, let me bring you over. If I have my chart somewhere, it's a different setup to usually, but there's my Italian premium against Spain. You own BTPs. What's the case for adding, being constructive on Italian BTPs? The BTPs at the level that they're currently at are still pricing in some level of systemic risk. And I think what the finance minister's comments uh, confirmed, what we've seen also with the decision by the uh, Five Star Movement and League in particular um, not to call uh, another election, which would have been a de facto referendum, highlights the fact, I think, that there's neither the public nor political will for a uh, euro exit. So I think there's too much systemic risk being priced into BTPs at the moment. I do think the uh, other aspect about the Italian government and finance ministry comments is that they're not going to go on a mad fiscal uh, splurge. There will be some fiscal easing, but there's a little bit of room for uh, fiscal easing as well. So I do think that you could see some uh, further tightening in BTP uh, bund spreads, but I, you know, We've repriced to a higher level and, and, and that's going to stay the case, I think.